So, good day. Uh, tuloy natin yung discussion on the ultimate strength design. So, this will be for the analysis of singly reinforced beam. So, we are now under on or we are now under the minimum steel ratio or the raw minimum and we will be using the required code under NSCP section 409.6 entitled as reinforcement limits. So we will specifically use the section 409.6.1 or the minimum flexural reinforcement in non-pre-stressed beams. So for section 409.6.1.1, a minimum area flexural reinforcement is minimum shall be provided at every section where tension reinforcement is required by analysis. So, syempre meron tayong iba ibang types ng raw. So, nandyan yung balance steel ratio or raw ball. Andyan din yung steel ratio raw or yung raw required. So, nasosolve natin yung raw balance by using this equation or by using my derived equations na derived ko during the class or during face-to-face -face contact in our classroom, then yung steel ratio, uh, steel ratio or the raw required, uh, this can be used for the design purposes so it may be by using Fy squared over F prime C times 10 over 17 rho squared minus Fy rho plus Mn over BD squared or Mu over phi BD squared is equal to zero. So this is a quadratic equation. So ibig sabihin, kailangan natin ng quadratic formula to solve this one. Then you may also use rho required is equal to 0.85 F prime C over Fy times 1 minus square root ng 1 minus 2 Rn over 0.85 of F prime C. Or, we may, you may also use the Agnetes formula uh, which is provided to us by Engineer, uh, uh, Engineer Albert Cañete. So, this is rho required is equivalent to 1 minus square root ng 1 minus 2 Mx over M where X is uh, equivalent to mu over phi b d squared fy and the value m is equal to fy over 0.85 of f prime c. So, sabi kasi dito sa code under section 409.6.1.1 so, kung nakompute na natin yung raw required kailangan ma-assign din natin or ma-determine natin kung ano yung uh, AS minimum or yung raw minimum. So, ibig sabihin, merong minimum requirement si code for the steel ratio. So, kailangan hindi ba baba sa minimum requirement ni code yung compute natin na steel ratio or raw required. So, kailangan ma-determine natin yun at every section kung saan required si tension reinforcement. So, next code will be section 409.6.1.2. So, that is the AS minimum shall be greater of A and B except as provided in section 409.6.1.3 for a statically determinate beam with a flange and tension, then the value of BW shall be the lesser of PF and 2BW. So, ito kasi... Uh, this code is for T-beams. So, hindi ko masyadong i-elaborate tong code na to. Or itong requirement ni code kapag may flange. So, since analysis of single reinforced rectangular beams lang palang muna tayo. So, dito muna tayo sa AS mean shall be greater of A and B. By the way, A and B is specified. So, this code is made with NSCP 2015 first printing. So that is 0.25 square root of F prime C over Fy uh, times BWD, then 1.4 over Fy times BWD. So, so second printing NSCP 
2015, hindi na kasi 0.25 square root ng f prime c over fy yung code na in-specify niya. So, much more accurate yung ginamit nilang codes or ginamit na provision for that one. So, for NSEP 2015, so, for the minimum steel area or steel ratio, so, ito yung in-specify na code kapag steel area, so, AS AS bin So, AS mean is equal to that will be AS mean is equal to that will be 1 over or square root ng A prime C over 4FY BW so that is a BW D so ito yung nirequire ni code for A then For letter B or second required by the code, that is that will be AS minimum that is AS mean is equal to 1.4 over FY times BWD. So, eto pag minimum steel area yung pinag-uusapan. Pero pag sinabing minimum steel ratio, that is A. equivalent to that is a raw mean is equal to uh, that is a square root of f prime c over 4 fy or over 4 fy and so, para lang nating inilipat tong BWD dito sa ilalim ni AS minimum, giving you a value of raw minimum. Then, yung B is equivalent of or is equivalent to that is a raw minimum equal to 1.4 over FY. So, alin ngayon yung pipiliin natin sa kanilang dalawa? Sabi ni code dito, ang pipiliin natin is the AS minimum shall be the greater of A and B. So, ibig sabihin, kung alin yung mas malaki dito sa raw minimum na to tsaka, or dito sa AS minimums, uh, yun yung gagamitin natin as the value of raw min. So, sabi, so, whichever is greater. Pero there is one thing para malaman natin, mas mabilis natin malaman alin yung gagamitin natin. So, pwede kasi natin i-equate itong dalawang equations na to. So, let's equate the two equations. So, we can say that that is square root of a prime c over 4 fy is equivalent to 
1.4 over Fy. So as we can see, si Fy dito at si Fy dito will cancel out, giving you a value of... So that will just give you a value of uh, square root of f prime c is equal to yung 4 dito will be multiplied by 1.4. So that will be 4 times 1.4. So then squared natin both sides. So that will be squared. So this will be squared. So squaring both sides, magkakaroon tayo ng equation that f prime c is equal to, so that is 4 times 1.4 squared. So that will be, so coming from MATCAD, so that will be 4 times this 4 times 1.4 squared. So that will be equivalent to a value of 31.36. That will be 31.36 megapascals. So the limiting criteria for the raw minimums will be F prime C is equal to 31.36. Try natin gamitin si 31.36 dun sa dalawang equation. So, para dito sa raw minimum na to, tsaka sa raw minimum na to. So, let's try. So, if uh, F prime C is equal to 31.36 megapascals, so, is that so raw minimum is equal to so that will be and then let's say uh, fy is equal to 414 megapascal so that will be Will be a square root of 31.36 divided by 4 times 414. So, tignan natin kay MATCAD ano yung bibigay niya. So, let's say that is rho mean. Let's say the first raw minimum value. So that will be equal to a square root of F prime C or a square root of 31.36 divided by 4 times 414. So that will be a value equivalent to 0. 003. Gawin natin 6 decimals. So, that will be a decimal value then 6 decimal places. So, that is 0 0.00338. The next value will be so lagay natin dito. This is equal to 0 0.00338. will be yung raw minimum equivalent to uh, 1.4 over 414. So that is equal to, gamitin natin si MATCAD. So that is, let's say, raw minimum Number 2, which is equivalent to 1.4 divided by 414. So, that is equal to, going ulit natin sa math formatting, this is decimal, then 
Gawin natin 6 decimal places. So that is 0 0.3382. So that is 0 0.003382. So ibig sabihin, the governing value, so that is, so therefore, rho minimum will be equal to 0 0.003382. That means, nagagamit natin si 1.4 over Fy kapag ang limit is hanggang F prime C is equal to 31.36. So, we can say, coming from this idea, we can say na pwede nating gamitin So use Romin is equal to one point four over Fy is equal to or one point four over Fy kapag ang F prime C natin uh, is lesser than or equal to 31.36. Pero, and if rho minimum is equivalent to square na F prime C F prime C over 4 F Y uh, ginagamit to for F prime C's greater than 31.36 megapascals. So let's check yung claim na to. So sabihin natin na gumamit tayo ng Fy which is or F prime C which is so let's say meron akong F prime C na equivalent kay uh, 28 megapascal. Then meron tayong Fy which is equivalent to 414 megapascal. So, palitan lang natin tong equation na nakalagay dito. Let's say that is F prime C. Then, this will be Fy. So, times Fy. Then, itong nasa baba will be over Fy. So, kung titignan natin or kung titignan nyo maigi, mas malaki pa rin tong nasa ilalim compared dun sa nasa taas. Pero pag ito, ginawa nating 32 which is greater than kay 31.36. So, mas magiging malaki na itong raw minimum using this equation. So, tama yung claim for using uh, these terms or these equations for uh, the raw minimum. So that will be for sections 409.6.1.1 and 409.6.1.2 of the NSCP uh, 2015. So next one will be 409.6.1.3 of the NSCP 2015. Sabi if A is provided that every section is at least one third greater than A as required by analysis. So section 409.6.1.1 and 409.6.1.2 need not be satisfied. So sabi dun, pwede daw natin palakihin ng one third or inaalaw niya ng one third increase yung A as required or A as provided. So Paano nangyari yun? 
So let's say you have calculated or let's say we have calculated required. Sabi kasi sa code, gagamitin lang natin si raw minimum or dapat sabi ni code raw or use raw required if raw required is greater than is in the range na greater siya a raw minimum but lesser siya kay lesser or equal siya kay or greater ah uh, lesser siya kay ro max so sabi Use raw required if raw mean is uh, less than raw required and raw required is less than raw max. Then, si code, sabi niya, use or meron daw ang dalawang option. Sabi niya dun, payagan mo daw yung one-third increase. So, let's say, yung one-third increase is equivalent to a value tawagin nating ro sub 1 which is equivalent sabi 1 third increase so ibig sabihin pag 1 third increase magiging 4 thirds yun so 1 third increase ni ro required so ang papayagan natin yung 1 third increase kay ro required sabi ni code check in natin if ro sub 1 is greater than or e, uh, greater than or lesser than raw minimum. So, sabi ni code, if raw record is lesser than raw minimum Check natin tong condition na to. So, if, so if pro minimum is greater than or if pro minimum is lesser than or equal to raw sub 1 sabi ni code use raw sub 1 then if raw Minimum from minimum greater than ah, balik tad pala. So, ito that is raw. This should be raw mean. 
Then kapag si rho minimum is greater than Kapag si rho minimum is greater than rho sub 1 So sabi ni code use use rho sub 1 so, kung ganito yung mga conditions natin, mm, ito yung gagamitin natin for design purposes. So, ito, magagamit natin sa design. Pero sa analysis, hindi siya ganong chinecheck maigi. Unless otherwise, tinatanong siya sa problem. So, that will be uh, yung interpretation ng section 409.6.1.3 ni NCP 2015. So, under also nung requirements, meron tayong maximum steel ratio or the raw maximum. So, itong raw maximum, si code, hindi na siya na masyadong nag-state both ACI and the NCP, hindi niya masyadong in-state what is raw maximum. But there are three uh, meron tayong or meron akong ipapakita na tatlong maximum steel ratios for uh, the design. So, meron tayong raw max is equal to 0.75 of pro balance which is, uh, which is an old code. Then, raw is 0 0.004 or 3 sevenths of 0.85 F prime C beta 1 over Fy. Then, meron tayong rho of 0 0.005 is equals to 3 eighths of 0.85 F prime C beta 1 over Fy. So, itong dalawa ipapakita ko kung saan galing to Yung 0 0.004 and 0 0.005. Ito kasi yung rho max nang galing na sa dating code. So, ito yung gagamitin natin for the quiz, uh, for your quizzes and the exams which is 0.75 of pro balance. Wala pa kasing ini-state sa NCP, alin talaga yung gagamitin natin sa kanilang dalawa. Pero sa actual, uh, ang ginagamit is itong galing kay strain na 0 0.005, which is for tension controlled. So, sa quizzes natin, ang gagamitin is yung raw max is 0.75 of the raw balance. So, paano nakuha yung under strain limit of 0 0.004? Sa NCP kasi merong strain limits for uh, beam or for flexural member. Sabi kasi doon, uh, kapag ang strain mo is greater than 0 0.004, nasa transition zone ka, pero considered pa siya as flexural member. Then, kapag ang strain mo naman daw ay 0 0.005, that is a tension, or greater than or equal to 0 0.005, that is a tension controlled beam, which is ginagamit natin for design, yung tension controlled. So, palabasin muna natin yung under a strain limit of 0 0.004. So, sabi kasi doon, so let's use the whiteboard. Sabi kasi doon, kung meron daw akong strain diagram, let's say, itong nasa taas, So, sabi natin, yung nasa taas, ang strain value nun, 0 0.003. Tapos, ito ang nasa baba, since maximum condition, ang strain nito, sabi natin, since nandun ka sa limit niya, that is a value 0 0.004. So, kung gagamitin natin yung conditions niya, 
Pwede kasi natin tong gawin, sabi ni code, 'di ba? This is C. Sabi niya this is C. Tapos this is the effective depth. Pwede kasi natin gawin na baba natin ito, papunta dito. So, mapupunta dito si uh, mapupunta dito mapupunta dito si 0.003 So, ibig sabihin, this is D. So, this is D. So, ibig sabihin, kung papansinin natin, we can use similar triangles to derive. So, Itong first triangle na to, that is corresponding to a base of 0.003 and a height of C. That will be C over, or lagay na lang natin si 0.003 sa taas divided by C is equal to yung buong triangle na nabuo natin na panibago ito. which is corresponding to 0.003 plus 0.004 divided by D. So, mapapansin natin, pwede natin mapalabas to as kasi corresponding to C na 0.004 yung strain. So, arranging the terms, so, gawin natin in terms of D, so that will be C of 0.004 is now equal to A value of, that is 0.003 over 0.003 plus 0.004 or 0.003 over 0.003 plus 0.004 D. So, mapapalabas natin yung equation coming from MATCAD that is C of, uh, C of 0.004 now equal to 0.003 over 0.003 plus 0.004D. So, ito is 0.429D. So, that is a 0.429 of D. So, that is 0.429 of D. Or, that is 3 sevenths. Gawin natin fraction to. Kasi on fraction form, this is 3 sevenths. C of 0 0.004 that is equal to 3 sevenths of D or 0 0.429 D. So next, sabi natin meron tayong ganitong diagram ng stress. So, meron tayong ganyang diagram ng stress, which is, ito yung A. Tapos, sabi natin, itong nasa taas is 0.85 ni F. 
prime C. Then, meron tayong compression dito, which is C. Then, this one, yan yung D minus A over 2. Tapos, ito yung tension. So, up, using statics, we can say na that is C is equal to T. Whereas, yung C natin, sabi natin doon compression. So, using the compression block, so that is 0 0.85 F prime C A of 0 0.004 times B. And also, equal siya sa T. Yung T natin is yung tension reinforcement, which is AS FY. FY yung ginamit natin kasi sabi natin na mag yung steel kapag flexural member. So, we may use FY. Yung AS pala na gagamitin natin dito will correspond to a 0.004 strain. Sabi natin sa first discussion that AS kahit 0.004 yung strain niyan equivalent yan sa rho ng 0.004 times B D. Then, sabi rin natin na sabi sa code na ang A of 0 0.004 equivalent to a value beta 1 o bet, uh, beta 1 C of 0 0.004. So, Let's say this is equation 1. Or ito yung equation 1 natin. Then let's say this is equation 2. And this will be equation 3. So substituting equation 2 and 3 to equation 1, ang magiging result will be 0.85 F prime C of equation 3. So, that will be times beta 1 of C, which is 0. Point beta 1 of C of 0. 0.004 times B is equal to rho that is equal to rho of 0 0.004 times B D F Y. So, may kita natin that B will cancel out. So, matitira sa equation natin is 0.85 F prime C, that is beta 1, times C of 0 0.004, is equal now to rho of 0 0.004 DFY. So, ngayon, kung makikita natin, meron tayong value ng C of 0 0.004 na pwede natin i-substitute dito sa equation na to. So, let's substitute that one. So, that will be 0 0.85 of F prime C beta 1. So, substitute natin yung 3 sevenths of D. So, that is 3 sevenths of D is equal to rho of 0 0.004 DFY. Kung mapapansin natin yung D magka-cancel out 
Then si Fy, pwede nating ilipat dito para mapalabas natin yung 0. 0, uh, value ng rho for a strain of 0, 0, uh, 0. 0.004. So that will be rho of 0. 0.004 is now equivalent to that is 0.85 f prime c beta 1 over Fy times 3 sevenths. So, ito na yung equation kanina na nandun sa module. So, ayan. Next, palabasin natin yung 0 0.005. So, for a strain or so, for a strain of 0 0.005. So, ito yung tension controlled limit strain natin. So, mangyayari lang naman is ganito. So, ang mangyayari is meron ulit tayong strain diagram then yung upper or yung strain sa taas ng concrete. So, yung strain sa taas ng concrete, kasi kung titignan natin, ganyan yan. So, meron tayong steel dito. So, meron tayong steel dito. So, yan yung strain ng steel. So, yan yung strain ng steel dito. Tapos, ito yung strain ng concrete sa taas. So, sabi natin, this is 0 0.003. So, yan yung 0 0.003. Tapos, etong nasa baba. Is a strain equal to 0 0.005. So, same procedure. Ito, sabi ni code. Uh, uh, sabi, pwede natin ibaba to. Ayan, sabi, pwede natin ibaba to, creating na yung 0 0.003 sa taas is bababa, papunta rin dito. Then, we can use similar triangles. So, ito yung C, corresponding to a strain. So, that is C corresponding to a strain of 0 0.005 and ito yung effective depth D. So, upon checking, pwede tayong gumamit ng similar triangles. So, ito yung triangle 1. So, itong buo yung triangle 2. So, meron kang dalawang triangles. So, Pwede natin sabihin that 0 0.003 over C of 0 0.005 is now equivalent to a value of 0 0.003 plus 0 0.005. Ito yun, which is 0 0.003 plus 0 0.005. Tapos, ang height niya is D. Creating an equation equivalent to C of 0 0.005 will now be equivalent to 0 0.003 over 0 0.003 plus 0 0.005 of D. So, pag yan, sinimplify natin, ang lalabas dyan is a value C of 0 0.005 equivalent to 
a value of 0 point or 3 o uh, 3 eighths of d or in decimal form that is c of 0 0.005 that is equivalent to 0 0.003 Zero point zero zero three over zero point zero zero three plus zero point zero zero five. So that will be equivalent to point three seventy five of D or that is three eighths of D. Now using let yung statical equation or statics equation C is equal to T coming from this diagram so yung nasa taas nata sa, sa taas nating diagram ito so that is not f o that is f prime of c so that will be so from c is equal to t ulit so for c is equal to t that will be 0 0.85 f prime of c 0 0.85 f prime of c times a of 0 0.005 b is now equal to a s of 0 0.005 times f y same procedure we can say that for a of 0 0.005, it may be equal to a value beta 1 of c of 0 0.005. As well as yung a, a s of 0 0.005 is equivalent to a value of rho of 0 0.005 b d so substituting these two terms dun sa equation natin or statical equation natin we can have value of 0.85 f prime of c times beta 1 c of 0 0.005 is now uh, times b is now equivalent to uh, rho of 0 0.005 bd fy so magka cancel out ulit si b so simplifying the equation magkakaroon tayo ng 0.85 beta 1 c of 0 0.005 equivalent to rho of 0 0.005 BD FY or nag-cancel na si B so DFY so ngayon meron kang C of 0 0.005 So, pwede natin substitute yung C of 0 0.005, which is 3 eighths of D. So, simplifying ulit, that is 0 0.85 F prime C, beta 1, C of 0 0.005, which is 3 eighths of D. So, which is equivalent also to rho of 0 0.005 DFY. Makikita ulit natin yung D dito and yung D dito can be cancel, canceled out. Simplifying the equation, so makukuha natin si rho of 0 0.005. So, the rho of 0 point or the steel ratio for the tensile or the tension control limit is equivalent to 
A prime of C, beta 1, over Fy times 3 eighths. It will be the same as dun sa nasa module natin. So, ganun na derive yung equations under uh, the raw maximum. So, by the way, ang gagamitin natin for the quizzes will be the raw maximum of 0.75 of raw balance. Yung raw balance natin was derived last meeting, which is this one. So, let's now proceed to the strength reduction factor. So, strength reduction factor, ito yung ginagamit natin para ma-convert. So, strength reduction factor yung ginagamit natin para i-reduce yung value ng nominal. So, that is a value fee. So, ito yung makikita natin para yung ultimate moment is maging equivalent uh, para maging yung nominal moment is maging ultimate moment kasi MU will be equivalent to phi of MN. So, yun si reduction factor. So, under NSCP 2015 section 421 Doon natin makikita yung strength reduction factors. So, section 421.2, strength reduction factors for structural concrete members and connection. So, under 421.2.1, sabi doon, strength reduction factors fee shall be in accordance with table 421.2.1, then except as modified by section 421. 0.2.2, 421.2.3, and 421.2.4. So, ito yung table na yun na nasa NSCP. So, ang gamitin lang muna natin is yung for moment actual force or combined moment and actual force since nandun pa lang tayo sa analysis for flexure. So, sabi doon, ang reduction factor is 0.65 2.9. So, that is in accordance with section 421.2.2. So, sabi dito ang exceptions near end sa pretension members. So, ito sa pre-stress na since reinforced concrete pa lang tayo, hindi, na mun, hindi ko na muna i-describe kung ano yung interpretation nitong code na to. So, punta tayo dun sa 421.2.2. So, sabi kasi dito, strength reduction factor for moment and actual force or combined moment and actual force shall be in accordance with table 421.2.2. Kasi kung mapapansin natin, sabi kasi doon, nasa 0.65 siya to 0.9. Sabi dito sa te uh, table na to, train E sub D. So, kapag ang E sub D mo daw is lesser than or equal to uh, E sub D Y, which is a compression controlled, sabi doon, that is 0.75 kapag, nas, kapag spiral yung uh, member, pero pag others, that is 0.65. So, magpo-fall yung beam natin or rectangular, uh, singly reinforced rectangular beam or doubly reinforced rectangular beam sa others. So, ang gagamitin is 0.65 kapag ito yung condition. Kapag naman in between uh, strain ETY of uh, lesser than E sub T and lesser than 0 0.005, nandun ka daw sa tinatawag na transition zone. So, pag spiral, gagamitin mo naman daw itong equation na to and kapag others, itong equation na to. Pero kapag E sub T mo daw is greater than or equal to 0 0.005, tension controlled ka. Kaya ang tawag natin dun sa uh, limit kanina for row is tension controlled limit kasi ang limit ni tension controlled is 4.005. That is 1,000 megapascal divided by 200,000. So dun lalabas si 
0.9. So, paano nagagamit yung or paano nangyari itong mga ganitong equation? So, pwede kasi natin hindi kabisaduin yung equations na nasa NCP. So, pwede natin gawin So, kung meron lang akong graph. Say so, meron akong graph. Sabihin natin na nandito si 0.65. Sabi kasi doon sa other si 0.65. Ito si 0.75. Then gawa tayo ng limits. Kapag nandun ka sa ET sub Y, so let's say this is ET sub Y. Tapos ito yung 0.005. Sabi dun, so this is for phi, ito yung E sub T. So sabi, kapag nandito ka daw sa range na to, diretso yan. Yan yung compression controlled. Ngayon, yung graph niya tataas yan linearly. Pataas kasi meron pa ditong value which is 0.9. Dito si 0.9. Taas natin yung graph. So sabi, habang tumataas daw yan patungo kay 0.9 kasi sabi Kapag ang strain mo 0.005, ang value na ng phi mo ay 0.9. So, ito yun. So, ito, dederecho na ng ganyan. So, itong zone na to, yan yung transition. Tapos yung nandito, tension controlled. Ito, compression controlled. So, paano nalalaman alin yung ET sa buhay? Sabi dun, yung E sub T daw, or yung Epsilon sub T, yan daw yung tinatawag natin na net tensile strain. So, saan nakukuha yung net tensile strain na yan? Yan yung strain. So, drawing tayo ng beam. Sabi, so, may tendency kasi na maging two-layered yung reinforcement natin. So, sabi sa code, yung net, yung E sub T daw, yan daw yung net tensile strain ng pinakamalayong uh, reinforcement. So, ibig sabihin, kung gagawa natin ng strain, itong beam na to, sabi dun, that is, sig natin. So, Meron kang strain na ganyan. So, ito, 0.003. Ito yung tinutukoy niya na E sub T. So, kailangan mo daw kunin yung strain niyan using the strain diagram. So, ibig sabihin, kung si ito, etong nasa baba is That is D minus C or DT minus C. Kasi pag D, yun yung effective depth ng concrete hanggang dun sa or yun yung distance from the compression or extreme compression fiber papunta dun sa centroid ng reinforcement, yun yung D. Pero yung D sub T hanggang dun sa pinakamalayong reinforcement. So, yan yung first layer kapag naging two, two or three layers yung reinforcement natin. 
So, kung gagamitin natin tong strain diagram strain, uh, strain diagram na to for uh, similar triangles, magkakaroon tayo ng equation which is point or C over 0 0.003 equal to a value uh, D of T minus C over epsilon sub T. You can say na si epsilon sub T is also equal to The value of F S of T over E S. E S which is 200,000 megapascal for steel. So meaning, pwede natin tong simplify yung equation which is C over 0 0.003 equal to D of T minus C over F S of T over 200,000. So, simplifying this term, pwede nating palabasin that F S of T is equal to so, ito cross multiply doon. Ito mapupunta doon. Ito bababa dito. So, yung 200,000 mapupunta sa taas. So, that means magiging 200,000 times 0 0.003 D of T. So, that will be multiplied by T of T minus C over 0 point or that will be over C. So, ang mangyayari, simplifying 200,000 times 0 0.003, so that will be, so that is 200,000 times 0 0.003 that will be equal to 600. So simplifying the term, that is Fs of T is now equal to 600 times D of T minus C over C. So yan ngayon yung equation natin for FST para makuha yung net tensile strain of FST over ES. So, pag meron ka na yan, kailangan natin tignan dun sa graph kung yung E sub T mo, papasok di sa compression controlled. So, kapag nandito siya sa compression controlled, automatically, that is 0.65 kapag beam yung sinosolve. Kapag greater than yan or equal to 0.005, or 0 0.005. So, that is a tension controlled. So, ang gagamitin nating fee is 0.9. Pero, kapag nandun ka sa pagitan ni ET sub Y and 0 0.005, so, nandun ka sa transition zone. By the way, what is ET sub Y? So, ET sub Y or epsilon T sub Y, yan yung FY over ES. Yan yung tensio, uh, yield strength ni steel divided by dun sa modulus of elasticity niya. So, ibig sabihin, if Fy is equal to 414 yung 
epsilon t sub y natin is equivalent to 414 over 200,000 which is equal to so lagay natin dito that is 414 divided by 200,000 so equivalent yan sa 0 0.002 gawin natin 6 decimals so that is 0 0.00207 So, kapag naman ang FY mo is equivalent to 420 or 415 muna megapascal, that is epsilon T sub Y is equal to 415 divided by 200,000. So, that is equal to 415 over 200,000 so that is equal to okay, nothing 6 decimals so that is 0 0.002075 then kapag Ang FI mo is equal to 420. Meron kasing sinasabi yung code dito. So, for the form reinforcement, ET sub Y shall be FY over ES. Kanya. So, for grade 280, the verb reinforcement, it shall be permitted to take ET sub Y equal to 0 0.002. So, malino yung sabi niya doon na grade 280. So, pwede natin gamitin yun which is grade 40. So, pag 276, automatically, 0 0.002 na to. So, kapag 420 kasi pa yan, iba din yung uh, value niyan. So, that is 420 megapascal. So, ang ET sub Y nun, or epsilon T sub Y is equal to 420 divided by 200,000. That is equal to 420 over 200,000. That is equivalent to a value of pag sinix decimal, that is 0 0.0021. Automatically, this is 0 0.0021. Pero, sabi ni code, ngan, pag ang FY mo daw is nasa 276 megapascal, automatically, you can use an epsilon T sub Y equivalent to 0 0.002. Bakit? Kasi pag dinivide natin si 276 kay 200,000, automatically, ang value kasi neto, lesser than 0 0.002. Which is, ayan, pag sinix decimal natin, that is 0 0.00138. So, automatically, pinapayagan ka ni code na gumitin si 0.002 kapag ang FY mo is 280 megapascal or 276 or the grade 40 steels. So, kapag F FY mo 414, ang ET sub Y mo ito, kapag FY mo 415, ang, e uh, ang epsilon T sub Y mo is 0 0.002075 and if ang FY mo is 420, ang ET sub Y mo is 0 0.0021. So, yun ngayon yung mga ilalag possible na pwede mong ilagay dito sa limit na to. So, paano kapag yung uh, paano kapag yung ET mo napunta sa transition zone? Kasi diba si code, meron siyang sariling formula. Ngayon, ang pwede mong gawin para hindi ka na magkabisado since ito linear, pwede mo ngayon gamitin yung equation of a line. Equation of a line which is y equal to mx plus b. So, m which is the slope and b which is the y-intercept. So, let's say 
Hanapin natin yung Let's say we have an FY equivalent to 414. So, pwede nating sabihin that epsilon P sub Y is equal to yung kanina, which is 0 0.00207. So, pag nilagay natin yan dito sa graph, ito si 0.00207, tapos yung point niya dito ay 0.005. So, ibig sabihin, pwede natin gawin na ito is 0.005 ang coordinate, tsaka 0.9. Tapos, itong part na to is may coordinate na 0.00207 tsaka 0.65 So, pwede rin natin gamitin that a slope is equal to rise over the run. So, ibig sabihin m is equal to rise over run. So, that means ang rise natin is 0.9 Minus 0.65. Tapos ang run natin is equal to 0.005 minus E sub T which is 0.0207. So that is 0.005 minus 0.00207. So ang slope natin ngayon equivalent sa So, that is 0.009 slope is equal to 0.009 or 0.9 minus 0.65 over... 0.005 minus 0.207. So, equivalent yan sa itong value na to. So, 6 decimals natin. So, pag pinaba mo ito yung value niya. So, pag ginawa natin 4 decimals, so ito yun. So, kung meron siyang fraction form, i-fraction form natin. Since MATCAD yung gamit natin, puro decimal form yan. So, ito yung equation, ito yung slope niya. So, pag kinuha natin yung y-intercept, substitute lang natin yung value kanina. So, let's say wala siyang fraction form. So, 63.61... 3, 2. Pero alam ko may fraction form to. So, yun yung magiging slope. So, substitute natin. That is y is equal to slope. 63.6132x plus b. Ngayon, meron tayong y tsaka x na pwedeng substitute. Which is 0.005 and 0.9 or eto. 0.00207 and 0.65. So, let's use this one. So, say x is equal to 0.005 and y is equal to 0.9. So, that will be 0.9 is equal to 63.6132. 6132x times 0.005 plus b. So, that will be b is now equal to so, si b natin equal yan kay 0.005 
0.9 minus 0. Point, so that is 0 0.005 times etong m. So the exact value of b is 0. 5.82. So, damihan natin yung decimals. So, ito yung exact value ni B, which is 0. Point, pag pinar decimal natin, that's 0. 0.5819. So, yan ngayon yung equation natin na gagamitin. So, we can compute for phi. That is equal to slope natin. Ito. Times. So, yung x natin doon will correspond to so y. Ang y natin, siya lagi yung phi. Ang y natin, siya lagi yung phi. And yung x natin, siya lagi yung et or epsilon sub t. So, ito ngayon is epsilon sub t plus the y-intercept 0 0.5819. So, pwede natin gawin tong fraction form. Same lang ang lalabas kapag ginamit natin to at ginamit natin yung equation na to sa NSCP. So, that will be for the strength reduction factor for the NSCP 2015. So, we can now proceed to the steps in the analysis of singly reinforced beam. So, the first step, we can proceed to the analysis. So, the first step will be, sabi dito, always start with an assumption that tension reinforcement yields. So, sabi niya, always assume that steel yields. So, assume tension steel yields. So, this will be our first step. Next step is determine the depth of compression block A by using the statical equation C is equal to T. So, using the statical equation, so, saan galing yung statical equation na yun? So, by using the statical equation coming from the stress diagram, so, kung ito yung beam natin, meron kang reinforcement dyan, so, magkakaroon ka ng stress diagram. So, this one is A. Then this one is 0.85 of F prime C. Ito yung T. So magkakaroon ko doon ng compression. That is C is equal to T from statics. So from statics, that is C is equal to T. So hanapin daw muna natin si A. So that is 0.85 F prime of C. AB is equal to ASFY. Kasi sabi natin, C is 0.85 F prime of C AB and T is ASFY. FY to since we assume that tension still yields. So, FY yun. So, Rearranging the terms and dapat si A yung hahanapin natin. So that will be A now is equivalent to A value ASFY over 0.85 F prime of C B. So ito na equation for A. So that will be the second step. So, third step, sabi dito, determine the value of the distance of the extreme compression fiber to the zero strain C using NSCP section 422.2.2.4.1. .2 .2 .2 
Ito yung sa 422.2.4.1. So, itong equation na A is equal to beta 1 of C. So, we can find that na A is equal to A is equal to beta 1 of C. Meaning, kapag hanapin natin si C, since nakuha na natin sa second step yung value ni A, so that will be A over beta 1. Ito ngayon yung equation for the third step. So for the fourth step, sabi dito, Sabi sa fourth step, verify the assumption on the yielding of the reinforcing bars through strain compatibility equations. So, if bars are yielding, proceed to step 5. And B, if bars are not yielding, determine the actual value of the depth of the distance to the extreme compression fiber to the zero strain by replacing the steel yield strength with the stress compatibility equation in the statical equation C is equal to T. B sub 1, get the actual value of the depth of compression block by the NSCP section 422.2.2.4.1. And B sub 2, determine the actual value of the steel stress by the stress compatibility equation. So, upon getting A and C, etong A na to, pwede nating tawagin niya na a theoretical or the depth of compression block na theoretical. Ito, theoretical din. Kasi hindi pa natin sure kung tama yan o mali. Kasi nag-assume tayo ng yielding ng tension bars. So, yung for verification yan. So, kailangan natin gamitin yung strain diagram. So, Sabi, gamitin mo strain diagram. So, kung may strain diagram ka dyan, sabi natin, this is 0.003. Tapos, ito, F, S over E, S. Yun ngayon yung strain. So, ibig sabihin, this is C. Ito yung D minus C. Kasi sabi natin, this is D. So, ibig sabihin, we can use similar triangles. Maka-create tayo ng 0 .00, uh, C over 0 0.003 equivalent to Fs or yung nasa ilid, yung height ng triangle na D minus C over Fs over Es. Es which is the modulus of elasticity of steel. Rearranging the term. So, hanapin natin si F of S. So, pwede natin sabihin that papupunta doon si 0.003, pwede natin ilagay din doon si Es, si C nasa ilalim. So, if we multiply 0 0.003 by ES, lalabas si 600 times D minus C over C. Ito ngayon yung stress D steel or the uh, theoretical steel stress. Ngayon, verify natin kapag FS, sabi dun sa steps, kapag ang FS mo is greater than FY, the assumption so, if Fs is greater than Fy, assumption is correct. Pero, kapag ang Fs mo, so, Fs is greater than or equal to. Pero, kapag ang Fs mo is less than Fy, assumption is incorrect. So, recompute C, A, and C. 
So, dito kasi, kapag assumption is correct, we can say that A, so, higyan natin ng if, this is if, if is, assumption is correct, therefore, A theoretical is now equal to A actual. And C theoretical is now equal to C actual. So, yun yung magiging uh, conclusion kapag tama yung assumption. Pero if wrong, if FS is lesser than FY or Yung still, hindi na yield Kasi dito, assumption is correct. Ibig sabihin, still yields to. Pero yung dito na part, this is, still does not yield. So that means, recompute A and C. So paano natin i -re recompute si A at si C? Sabi natin doon, palitan natin yung uh, papalitan natin yung FY kanina sa statical equation into FS. So, ibig sabihin, from the statical equation, C is equal to T since na-prove mo na does not yield. So, that means magiging 0.85 F' C AB is equal to AS FS So, yung FS dito ngayon isa substitute natin yung equation Hindi mo isa substitute yung nakuha mo dito Ang isa substitute mo yung mismong equation So, ibig sabihin magiging ganito yan That is 600 or 0.85 F' prime of C AB is equal to a sub S or AS times 600 times D minus C over C. 600 times D minus C over C. So, yan ngayon yung magiging equation. Eh, hindi naman pwede na A to. Tapos may C pa na unknown doon. May A na unknown dito, may C. E di ba sabi natin that A is equal to beta 1 of C. So that means pwede natin gawin na substitute si A as beta 1 of C. So lalabas na that is 0.85 F prime of C A, uh, that is beta 1 of C B is equal to AS times 600 times D minus C over C. So, dito, pwede natin gawin na substitute C or multiply natin both sides by C. Both sides of the equation. So, lalabas na 0.85 F prime of C beta 1 B that will be C squared is equal to multiply natin si AS kay 600 tsaka kay D. So, that will be 600 AST minus kasi that is AS times 600 times C naman ngayon. So, that is 600 AS of C. Arranging the equation, makakapagpalabas tayo ng quadratic equation which is 0 0.85 beta 1 B times C squared minus or plus, magiging plus 600 AS of C minus 600 AS to 0. 
Then we can solve this one using the quadratic formula. So that is negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So whichever is the acceptable value, kung yung isa positive, yung isa negative, kukunin natin yung positive value. So ngayon, kapag still does not yield, yung lalabas dito na value ng c, so yung c will be the c actual, which will be coming from the quadratic equation. So, yung quadratic equation natin is negative b plus, that is a plus minus square root ng e squared minus 4ac. Na napasok dito si 4ac over 2 a. Whereas, dito sa equation natin, we can say na si A, siya yung 0.85 e prime C beta 1 B, tapos si B, siya ngayon si 600 AS, then si C, siya si negative 600 So, si C, siya si negative 600 AS of D. So, for, that is for the quadratic equation. Babalik ngayon tayo sa pagkuha ni A actual, which is equal to beta 1 of C actual. So, yan na ngayon yung A and C natin based on the fourth step. So, makakompute na rin natin yung actual steel stress coming from the compatibility equation. So, this will be for the actual steel stress. So, that will be F of S is equal to, or F of S, uh, that is actual, is equal to, So, same, 600, D minus C actual over C actual. So, mabe-verify mo agad ulit dito kung tama yun na yung ginawa nating values, kung nag man siya o hindi. So, fifth step, determine the net tensile strain. So, kailangan natin determine yung net tensile strain. So, kapag two-layer yung reinforcement, so, ang mangyayari, kailangan natin i-determine yung tensile strain dun sa pinakamalayong reinforcement from the compression zone or from the compression uh, extreme compression fiber. So, yun yung net tensile strain natin, which is kanina, yun na yung na-derive natin na equation, which is eto. So, kapag ito, yung ginamit natin na equation, so, kailangan natin makuha yung FST. Or, gamit to, kunin natin yung FS sub T, makukuha natin yung net tensile strain using yung equation na to. yang equation na yan. So, that will be for the net tensile strain. So, six step, upon getting the net tensile strain, kailangan natin i-determine yung value ng reduction factor by the NSCP 2015 provision. So, strength reduction factor lang to. So, kapag analysis naman, so, automatically, kapag, uh, kapag ang epsilon sub t mo is greater than or equal to 
0 0.005 automatically phi is equal to 0.9. Pero, kapag naman pero kapag ang epsilon sub t mo is in the range of epsilon sub y which is yung derive ko kanina and that is lesser than 0 0.005 nandun tayo sa transition zone either to use the NACP formula or gamitin mo yung method ng equation of the line which is ito so pag 414 ito yung gagamitin so kapag 415 ito pag 420 Ito yung gagamitin. So, that is a transition zone. You can refer to it's either equation of a line or the NCP provision. So, kapag naman ang epsilon timo is lesser than or equal to epsilon t sub y sabi dun ni code gamitin mo yung 0.65 automatically since nandun tayo sa part ng uh, beams dito nga gamitin mong phi equal sa 0.65 so ganun lang yung gagawin sa 6th step. Sa 7th step, determine the nominal moment capacity of the given beam by the stress diagram. So, using this stress diagram, ito, may kita kasi natin dyan na ang moment arm nito is D minus A over 2. Paano nangyari yun? Kasi ito, tatama yan sa gitna, which is ito, is A over 2. E di ba ito, this is D. So, ibig sabihin, that is D minus A over 2 yung moment arm niya. So, pwede tayong gumawa. Lahat ng, ng uh, by the way, lahat ng, gal, ng galing dito sa diagram na to are nominals. So, ibig sabihin, that is M sub N is equal to, it's either C times D minus A over 2. Ah, uh, natin that is A actual over 2 or it's either T times D minus A actual over 2. So, kapag ginamit natin yung C, walang problema doon. So, pwede nating sabihin that MN using C, that is 0.85 F prime of C, AB times D minus A actual over 2. Pero pag ang ginamit natin yung sa tension side, meron tayong dalawang condition. So, if tension still yields, sabi natin, Ang MN natin doon is equal to 0.85 F prime C or that is A S F Y since still yields D minus A actual over 2. Pero if tension still does not yield that will be M sub N is equal to A sub S F sub S or FS. Yung kaninang FS na kinuha mo dito which is the FS actual kapag non-yielding yung steel. So this is FS actual. 
times will be D minus A actual over 2. So, yan ngayon yung condition for the seventh step. Then, the last step will just be the eighth step. Determine the ultimate moment capacity of the beam by multiplying the nominal moment to the strength reduction factor. So, this will just be uh, that is an equation m sub u or the ultimate moment capacity is equivalent to phi which is nakuha natin sa step number, uh, step number 6 times PMN or the nominal moment capacity na nakuha natin sa 7th step. So, that will be the concepts for uh, the analysis of singly reinforced beam.